Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Beta FPV Cetus Light FPV Kit. This is a beginner, beginner kit. Beta FPV sent it out to me to do a little review of it and check it out to show you guys. So that's what we're gonna to do today. The kit has everything you need to start flying. Comes with a little transmitter, uh, goggles, and of course, the drone. This is a brushed quadcopter. It's not brushless. This is just brushed. So it's best suited, honestly, for indoors. Now these goggles can't record anything. They have no onboard DVR. So the video that you see is going to be recorded by my hobby grade goggles here. That being said, it's still all an analog video transmission. So it's going to be pretty much the same either way. This will not fit with my glasses on. So if uh, now I'm very nearsighted. So this is not gonna be a problem for me to wear these. I see perfectly just fine with them. I've set up a little course inside my living room here. We're just gonna stay within that and fly around and have some fun. All right, we're gonna bind to the drone. It makes that little singing noise. If you see RX loss in your on-screen display, it just means that the controller isn't bound to the drone and try just wiggling the sticks or turning it on and off. Basic buttons here, we're gonna press the SA button on the remote to start the motors of the drone. Okay. And we're also going to press the SC button on the remote to change the modes from fast to slow. If you are, you know, more of an expert, you can go fast. It's still not going to actually go that fast. Okay. Oh, it's sinking. Let me get up off the ground, disarm. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think I, by lowering my left uh, left stick, it caused it to uh, go to the ground. That's how you do the land. I'm gonna fly through my gates. Fly through these gates here. Oh. Just gonna run this little course I have. Plenty stable, easy. Oop, fly right over my head there. You can make gates out of anything. I like to use, like these gates here, for example, are made with PVC. Of course, I put the Beta FPV circle gates on top of them just to make them a little fancier. But yeah, I mean, this is all stabilized flight, guys. I mean, oh, no, I'm, I'm no hands. Okay, it's, it literally, it has altitude hold, okay? It'll hold its altitude, all right? It doesn't have optical flow, but it does have altitude hold. So this is very, very easy to fly. This is like for a kid. or somebody who just has really never flown anything before could probably pick this up and start flying it, like with no, almost no problem. Just kind of make your own course out of whatever's in your house. Woo, do some orbits around myself. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Okay. Let's try. Oh, when you start getting that low vol flash, you see that? That means that it's starting to get low in the battery, and uh, you're going to be landing probably in the next 30 seconds or so. Getting about three minute flight times on this little drone here. Yeah, it starts to struggle a little bit. It's just brushed. It's just a brushed uh, motor quad. They're not super powerful motors, which is why this thing is best indoors. Woo! But still very maneuverable, even with this little toy grade controller. You can see everything I need to see. Oh, oh, oh! It just almost crashed. Oh, oh! oh. I'm really starting to feel the voltage sag now on the battery, especially with these motors. So we're gonna call it at three minutes, three minutes and 20 seconds here and come in for a landing. If I can land on my transmitter. Oh, oh. Oh, I landed.
landed on myself. I did it. <laughs> All right, we're going outside. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't going to do a video with this drone outside, but we have like no wind right now. And that's pretty much the only way you're gonna be able to fly this. So I'm gonna give it a try. So here's the outdoor flight test of the Cetus. Oh! It's a very gentle flight out here in fast mode. Oh! There was a little bit of, there was a little bit of wind there that actually pushed me. So yeah, not a very powerful quad to use outdoors because of the brushed motors. Try to, try to fly to the end of my property there by that little tree. Get it kind of. Oh, I've got a slight crosswind and I am working my way back. Okay. Alright, oh, I was able to make it work. It's definitely more fun indoors, guys, honestly. Where you don't have even the slightest bit of wind to mess with you. I mean, I said we had, like, no wind, but we're getting little bits here and there. And they really screw with these brushed motors. But as you can see, yeah, I mean, on a completely calm day, you could get some airtime outdoors with it. Oh, I had RX lost behind me. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Let's see if I can pull up out of the grass here. Interesting. I had a uh, receiver loss on my controller. Let's see if I can even go behind my house. I guarantee I can't. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, video's so bad. I can't get... Oh, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that's impossible. I can't go behind my house with this thing, which I kind of figured. So yeah, that's that's the end of that for the outdoors. <laughs> Beta FPV Cetus Light Kit, should you buy it? There is a limit to this drone. It can only do what I showed you. It can fly stabilized. It has uh, the angle mode changes and that's it. Like. What you saw is the maximum that it will ever be able to do. For some people, that might not matter because if you're just trying to maybe give this to a kid or maybe a coworker, somebody who's never flown FPV before because you want to get them out there and hanging out with you and flying or have a day to fly micros at your house, but you really don't want to spend too much money because you don't know if they're going to enjoy doing this with you, this is actually not a bad deal. They'll be able to watch you on your on their goggles as well because this thing tunes into the full 40 channels. So you can they'll be able to watch you um, and you'll be able to watch them fly and it'll it's it's not bad for that kind of thing. But if you're looking to graduate, if you're looking, I'm gonna get this kit and then I'm gonna go into acro mode and it, no, that's not happening. Okay. So you've gotta have a much lower set of expectations because the budget on this thing is so much lower. I think the Cetus Slight kit can be good for the right person and for the right purposes. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Cetus Light FPV kit. Did you buy it for somebody? Then they have a, did they have a good time with it or what? Or did you just get it yourself? And are you having a good experience as a beginner? Let me know. I want to hear from you. And with that being said, uh, I'm going to do some flying and you guys take care.